the strategy is called Plickers, and the way it works is the teacher needs to have an app. You can download it on your phone or on your iPad, and then each student is given a card that is like this. The cards are numbered, and then each card has a different pattern on it, and depending on how you hold the card corresponds to an answer that the students can answer for you. For example, I can create a true-false question, and true might have to do with the letter A, and so the student would rotate their card until the A is at the top, and that would mean that they think that's true, or I can do it with multiple choice questions. I create a bank of questions that I have in a website, and then I can select the different questions that I want for each class. So the kids put up their card, I activate a scanning device on my iPad, and I go around the room, and then the camera on the iPad picks up the answers that the students have visualized for me to be able to see. I can keep everything anonymous and just see the results. It puts them into graphs, a bar graph on my iPad, or I can actually project them on the board and the kids can see as they choose. As you project it on the board, I can also keep the answers anonymous or I can have them show the students' names. I can have the students see if they got the right answer or not, or I just keep all that information to myself. So I found it to be a great tool just for quick formative assessments. I tend to use Plickers in a couple of different places. I use it sometimes at the beginning of the period to see how well the students understood what we were doing the previous day. That's a great way for me to say, these were three topics that I wanted them to understand. I'm going to see how they're at today. So I know if we need to go back and review that again or if we're ready to move on to something new. Um, I also do it in the middle of the class. If we've been working maybe on a four-step process and I want to see if they understand the first two steps, I can stop right there, do a couple questions, and again, just get a great idea of whether they're ready to move on or there's still a lot of misunderstandings that I need to clear up. I think what I love the most about this strategy is that it's anonymous. Um, I tend to teach students who aren't very confident in their own abilities, especially in math class. And this gives them a way to actually show me I don't get this without having the rest of the class be able to see that. Oh, I got it right. I use this strategy every couple of weeks, maybe for twice during the week on two different days. I don't want the kids to get tired of it. I want them to feel like it's something useful. And probably four to five questions is my average. So really, it's a very seamless formative assessment strategy that you can use in any classroom and it gives you the feedback that you're looking for.